Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy grace has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me for the reading of the Word of God. We've been reading through the Psalms, and we are to Psalm 147. Again, about how great our God is. And uh, I had uh, went and read Matthew Henry's concise commentary on this one. And you might want to read that. It's just very beautiful, talking about the consolations of God's Spirit. How we know we are saved, you know. He he assures us by his spirit we are saved. When I first came to the Lord, I was so bowed down with condemnation from all of my sinfulness. And I knew he had received me because that heavy, horrible weight lifted off of my spirit. And I felt peace and great joy. He let me know. He received me. And um, we need the Lord. We need forgiveness. We must repent if we would be saved and call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Psalm 147. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. So, again, talking about praise, which I encourage us to do more and more continually, and uh, Matthew Henry had said, it's like a reward unto itself because, you know, when the praises go up, God's glory comes down. When you're in the presence of the Lord, that is great reward to you. Your praise is a sacrifice to the Lord. Sometimes we have to make ourselves stop and praise the Lord because our flesh just is lazy. It just doesn't want to do things sometimes, and we have to overcome that and make ourselves praise the Lord. But as we begin to, he visits us so sweetly, and we wonder why we don't praise him more. <laughs> so it is a reward to us to praise our God. Verse 2, The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek. He casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. And I heard just a beautiful word on how the Lord delights in us yesterday. Verse 12. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in the borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth <clears throat> his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out 
his word and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, who made heaven and earth and all that is. The earth is his, and the fullness thereof. Praise the name of the Lord. I love you so much. I am so thankful for all of you that visit and um, that fellowship together. And the Lord loves it that his people speak to one another about him. So let's continue to do that more and more while we have opportunity. And uh, I know that there's censorship. I know there is something called shadow banning. I have watched it. But at the same time, I am thankful for the privilege to come on here and share the word of God. So far, we've been able to do that. There have been some interruptions and bumps, but the word goes forth. And I believe the Lord, in his infinite, infinite, <laughs> such greatness, so far above everything, he can take the word to who needs to hear the word. And if it's one person or three people, I am just grateful the Lord has allowed me to do my little part for him because uh, he is so worthy of all of the labor that we can render to him. And in the end time harvest, he says, pray the Lord of hosts for the, the Lord of harvest, for laborers for the harvest. So let's be obedient to pray that laborers for the harvest because as war brings destruction, there will be many people that recognize they don't know what they're doing. They don't have hope, and you need to take them hope. We are on assignment of the Lord, so be strengthened in your spirit, in your mind, and uh, in your emotions. Uh, be strong in the Lord, and be faithful. Remain faithful. Do not quit the Lord now. It is so close to the time that we will get to be with the Father and uh, make all of our time count now. Don't be lazy on the Lord. Be productive. Be blessed. <laughs>